Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Police Story, a Hong Kong action comedy from 1985 that was directed by and stars Jackie Chan. Bridget Lin and Maggie Chung also have supporting roles. Now, I've never reviewed this franchise on this channel, and I felt like watching them again, so here we are. Also, if you want a more, I guess, in-depth group discussion of Police Story, check out the collaboration I did on That Fat Samurai Guy's channel. A bunch of us were talking about the movie on there, so I'll include a link in the uh, description box below to that discussion that occurred about a year ago. So let's use the plot summary from the recent Eureka Blu-ray release to describe Police Story. Considered by Jackie himself to be his best film in terms of pure action, this concerns a super cop who goes up against a notorious crime lord in a series of escalating set pieces that resulted in many of Jackie's stunt team being hospitalized. Now the opening sequence here features a 1980s cell phone, which is pretty awesome. If, uh, if you youngins haven't seen a 1980s cell phone, they're pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. And most ironically, that cell phone in this movie creates a dangerous situation for our protagonist cops, who are in the process of setting up like a, uh, an infiltration into a crime lord's base of operations. The bad guy's got a big drug deal going down, but he receives a phone call that the cops are coming. And that ignites a big shootout uh, because they know they're coming. And the, then there's a chase sequence and, you know, you have the opening scene here. A highlight set piece. So let's talk about the action right now. The opening scene kind of tells you what you're in for with this one. This is an old school stunt heavy movie. You know, we get shootouts, cars crashing through village huts down a hill. You know, kind of like Bad Boys 2. And then we get a chase scene, like a bus chase, where Jackie's hanging off the vehicle for his life. And he's trying to hang on so he doesn't kill himself during the stunts. And then we finish the scene off with some very hard stuntman falls onto concrete. And uh, that scene was probably homaged in the Sylvester Stallone movie, Tango and Cash. So, Police Story is known as like an influential action movie, and if you've seen a bunch of action movies over the years, there are more than a few that uh, definitely took some inspiration from this one. So you can see why this is so highly acclaimed. I mean, the opening scene is just crazy. It's crazy in this. Some other action highlights are the one versus many fight in a parking lot, and surprise, surprise, some poor stuntmen get thrown through windshields. And then we get some... Uh, some fighting in an apartment brawl, and this is one of my favorite scenes here. Some good stuff in that one, people crashing through glass tables, just tons of stuntman abuse in this movie, uh, which is also shown to basically a backdrop to well-choreographed, but still grounded fight choreography. You know, the fighting in this movie never gets too clean or too precise, or like pristine, I guess I would say. Um... Which, you know, I do like movies that do that. You know what I mean? I do. But in this one, it's almost, it has a certain roughness to it. Like a little bit of a scrappiness. They're choreographed, but they're scrappy. And that gives it a little bit of a, you know, a very realistic feel compared to some other action movies. And, you know, you're, you're cruising through this movie. And when you get to, like, the last half hour, you know, the first time I saw this, I, I said to myself, you know, tough for an action movie like this to top what came before it in terms of set pieces, but there is an argument to be made that the mall sequence finale is the best scene of the movie. And when I rewatched it again last night, I think that's my favorite scene. I think it's even better than the opening scene, which is saying something. You know, a classic throwdown, bunch of hard hits, bone crunching falls, crazy stunts. And I love the setting of the mall for a fight scene. You know, there's other movies out there that maybe have, like, the mall as a setting, either for a particular genre of film, like horror or whatever. I just like mall settings for movies. And uh, the characters get to play on that in this, because there's lots of, like, objects and environments to use during the fight, and they use it very well here. So, uh, yeah, probably my favorite scene of the movie. And obviously the, the pole slide multi-stories down into, like 
a glass ceiling. <laughs> it's, just, it's a ridiculous, ridiculous ending. And uh, so I think the action and police story will continue to age kind of like a fine wine. You know, nowadays we use a lot of green screens and sometimes you can't even tell. You know, the, uh, the special effects are so good. And it uh, creates a, a safer environment uh, for the actors and the stuntmen for sure. But, you know, looking at some of these movies like Police Story, these guys, there's no green screens here, man. They had to do everything. They're actually doing this stuff. It's, it, you know, it, it delivers and you have like this uh, respect for the, for the filmmakers putting, putting their bodies through this type of like punishment for our entertainment. Now, in terms of the other stuff, like the drama and the humor... At first, you might think, if you've never seen the movie, does it really matter? But, in this case, it does. Because Police Story, it has quite a bit of action, but it's not, like, jam-packed with action. There's some gaps between the set pieces. Like, at one point, there's, like, 30 minutes where there's no action at all. So, it uh, it, it kind of does rely on some other stuff as well. And the, the script is good enough to be uh, contributing to your entertainment in between the fights. There are a few well-written moments, actually. I mean, I liked uh, the manipulation tactics by the cops early in the film. They try to play the bad guys against each other because the, uh, the main bad guy has a secretary played by Bridget Lynn, and they try to play her against her boss. And the way they do that is actually pretty cool. And it, you know, it's... Uh, Interesting little psychological tactic that they use multiple times. So I like that. There's also a scene where, uh, in the opening scene, one of the cops just, like, mentally just breaks under the pressure of a shootout, which I thought was kind of an interesting thing to do uh, in an action movie like this. I, I, you know, I appreciated that. Kind of a nice touch. And then the court scene was actually pretty good. You know, the defense attorney for the bad guy, he kind of pokes some holes into the cop's case pretty well. So there, there is some actual good script writing in this. And uh, they also infuse some comedy into it as well. Most of it works. There were a few scenes that didn't really work really well for me. Like the one that I always point out is the one where uh, where Jackie answers like five or six phone calls in his office. I don't know. There's something about that scene. I feel like it went on for too long. Uh, I didn't really like it that much. But uh, for the most part, the humor does work pretty well. There's some, uh, the scene in the apartment with uh, Bridget and Maggie and uh, Jackie was pretty, pretty funny, as well as the fake assassination scene. So there's some good humor in this. Actually, watching this again, Bridget Lynn is quite good in the lead uh, female role here. Her character is like not super developed, but she exhibits like a, a, a multidimensionality in her performance. You know, there's some scenes where like, She's kind of a, she's definitely a bad guy. She's working for the bad guys. And then in other scenes, she's quite charming. And you get kind of like that, uh, that mix. Maggie Chung is given even kind of less to work with, I think. Her character is kind of simplistic. Uh, not super developed again. But if you're a fan of either one of these actresses, like meteor roles that they would do later on, uh, it's interesting to see them in a film like this. Just kind of like a fun action comedy. So... I mean, like most people out there, I strongly recommend Police Story. Uh, if you have somehow never seen this film, it's a must-watch. And there's a lot of, like, backstory on the production in this, you know, regarding Jackie Chan. I know he made a movie, kind of a U.S. production that didn't didn't quite work out the way he wanted. And he made this as kind of like a response, I guess. And it, yeah, so you can look into that. Uh, there's a lot of interesting uh, production regarding this film, like there is for a lot of the films I cover here. But yeah, you gotta see this. Available streaming and on physical media. And as always, I will see you next time.